Hi guys, it's Wasabi Fold here again with part 6 of the Invading Marijoa theory series. If you have not seen parts 1 through the 5, I urge you to go and check them out. Full playlist is in on my channel and there will be a link in the description. Um, mainly because the what I discuss in parts 1 through the 5 do a lot to justify what I'm going to be talking about in this video. So if this is the first video that you're ever seeing on my channel or this is the first video that you found, um, in relation to this theory, I urge you to go and check out parts 1 through 5 first. Alright, and also a quick note for all the new subscribers, thank you so much. We're almost at 350 subscribers. Thank you guys for all the support. Um, I'm really happy about um, the growth that the channel has had. And I'm really thankful for all that you guys have done as far as supporting me and my content. And I hope to keep giving you guys good One Piece theories in the future. Okay guys, um, let's just get started. Now the first thing I'm going to be talking about in this video is where the Straw Hats will go after they have finished invading Marijoa. And I believe there's one location that's perfect and that is Fishman Island. One, Fishman Island is the closest location to Marijoa. It's right down. Um, if you think of Marijoa also as a military cul-de-sac in a way, once you go up, it's incredibly difficult to come down and get away because the Marines can surround you. They can call in reinforcements from other Marine bases and basically surround the two exits at the bottom, which are the G1 and the Marine Ford base and basically build a fleet and build a trap so that by the time you get back down to sea level, it doesn't matter that you've invaded Marijoa because in the end, you're still faced with the Marine um, trap that you can't get away from. And that's part of the problem why Marijoa is probably so hard to invade. And I believe that Fishman Island is the only place to go in a similar way to how Fisher Tiger was able to get away. You know, he went straight down to Fishman Island. But I believe that that is indicative of the only route that you can escape from Marijoa from after invading that no one can block off. The Marines can't blockade the bottom of the ocean. It's just impossible for them to do. So I believe that the way to get away from Marijoa is simply to go straight down. And I believe the Grand Fleet and everybody that helps us in this art will do will go straight down, including the kingdoms that we save and the slaves that Luffy will break out of Marijoa. Also, another thing that makes Fishman Island perfect is Shirohoshi. Shirohoshi would prevent the Marines from following us down to Marijoa simply because the Sea Kings are such a deterrent and even more powerful um, under the water. There's no way that coated marine fleet could hope to evade the um, lights of the Sea Kings underwater. And therefore, I believe that when she showcases Poseidon and that she has the power of Poseidon, that the world government will have to allow us to get away. Because so long as we're underwater, the threat of Poseidon is too great to follow. And even more, I believe when I talked about in part one about the inciting incident, about how the nations that have helped us, that are members of the world government, have helped that have helped the Straw Hat Pirates um, up to this point in the story, could all be in hot water or in trouble with the world government at this year's reverie. Um, they are also going to need a way to get back home to paradise, and Fishman Island is the perfect point to go both to paradise and to the new world. Um, and I think that it would be the perfect place for everyone that we're saving from Marijoa to do go straight back down to Fishman Island and then they can break off and travel underwater back to their respective places whether the Grand Fleet wants to go back into the New World or if the other nations like Vivi's Alabasta and whatnot want to go back to their near nations all of that would be best served from Fishman Island as a point. So I believe that all those reasons point to Fishman Island being where we would go. And I believe that this will be the location for the second time skip. And the reason why I say there will be a second time skip is because of what was foreshadowed at the end of Fishman Island arc. If you don't recall, remember Madam Shirley talked about how um, she doesn't know when her prophecy of Luffy destroying the island will happen. It could happen now, it could happen a year from now. And in that same chapter, the Straw Hats were about to leave Fishman Island and they were talking about how they would love to spend an entire year at Fishman Island. 
one chapter and two mentions of a year period, I think is not a coincidence. I think Oda is foreshadowing the next ten skip. I believe that we will spend a year down at Fishman Island. And the reason for that is that Luffy will want to ensure the safety of the Fishman people. After seeing the slaves and freeing them, and then um, going back down and know that the, the Fishman people are in bad graces with the world government, they will never be able to gain the world government membership that will secure their people to go to the surface. The only way for them to do so is to go under Luffy and help him secure it. And I believe that Luffy will say, look, let's fix this ship and I'm going to bring you guys to the surface. And that's what we're going to be doing in this year's time skip. This is not a time skip to just train because we're not strong enough. This is a time skip where Luffy will fulfill the prophecy of being the person who will lead the fishermen people to the surface and they will fix the ship. The Frankie will help with his supervision as well as the 5 million fishermen that we have and we'll be in, they'll be able to finish it within a year. And even more so, just a small note, the Sea Kings talked about how a particular clan would be able to fix the Noah. I talked about this in another short video, but what if one of those clans are from Wano Kuni and are allied with the Kogetsu clan? If the Kogetsu clan then joins the Grand Fleet along with their allies, um, one of their allies could be master craftsmen in carpentry, similar to how the Kogetsu is master, car master craftsmen of stone masonry. Um, and they could also help with the rebuilding of the art. I believe that that will be the impotence for the next time skip for sure. And then after that year is finished, when we're about to leave and go back to the surface, I believe that Luffy will destroy the island. He will now have the power after a year, another further year's training, he will have the power to destroy the island. He will destroy the island as not an act of rage, but as a way to tell the fishermen that we're leaving Fishman Island for good, that we will not be coming back down to the bottom of the ocean, that they will be living on the surface now and they have no reason to come back. To make sure that they never do, Luffy will destroy Fishman Island, they'll have no place to go and destroy, and they will be on Noah um, um, for the foreseeable future until they find a homeland. So that's what I believe will happen as far as the next time skip is concerned and the reasons for it. But also I believe that the Straw Hats will have to do quite a bit of training. Um, Usopp has no understanding of Haki and really talked about how learning Haki in two years is very difficult, but Luffy had a strong spirit. Usopp has the opposite of a strong spirit. He's very weak willed. There's no way that Usopp can do the same feat as Luffy and learn the Haki in that time. And I believe that time skip will be an assistance to Usopp to learn hockey, but also to the other members of the crew. I believe that we're gonna be getting a lot of power-ups. And don't expect this to happen soon, by the way, because there's still the Big Mom art, there's still the search for Marco, there's still Wano. There's a lot of stuff to happen, so don't expect this second thing to happen anything soon. It's probably gonna be another three or four years before we even get to our every arc. And that art sounds very long. It could take maybe another year and a half after that. So we probably won't see a second thing skip for maybe until 2020. But my point is, is that by then this crew would have had a lot of power-ups and they would need the time to master those power-ups. And I think that that would be the perfect time to have the second time skip. Alright, so that is the end of the theory. Tell me what you guys thought. If you thought this entire Web We Art TV was a good one, leave a comment below. I'm so glad for the people who've been here from the beginning. Thank you so much for all the support throughout the, the length of the series. And now that the series is complete, I really want to have your guys' opinion. So in the cards there's going to be some cards there's going to be a poll tell me what you guys thought about the series as a whole but also leave your comments below if there's something you think i missed if there's something you thought that i could have addressed this has been the invading mario joe series presented by the sabi before signing out